The Olympic Project. What is up guys, G7 Messi here and welcome to episode 2 of the Olympic Project. The sport I'm going to be bringing today is the women's football and this team's actually pretty fun to play with. It's a 4-4-1-1 formation, um, that is basically a standard formation. Um, yeah, it's got basically all the people are supposed to like either women or lesbians. Um, no offence if you're a lesbian but that's all I could think of. So in goal we have uh, Sirigu of PSG. So that's actually a really good goalkeeper. He's got a nice uh, womanly um, haircut there. That's the reason I put him in goal. He has got an inform. Uh, yeah, like I say, he's got some great stats like 84 reflexes and 80 diving. Um, I actually quite like him in goal. And he's only got 6 chemistry, which was a bit of a letdown. But yeah, other than that, he's a solid goalkeeper. So right back, we have Kuro Lee. Um, this man does actually like a, a bit of a lady boy. Um, his hair is quite... Yeah, let's move on from him. Then we have your Bob Stalin lesbian, uh, Jai Sung Lee. He is a bit of a um, slow man with only 60 pace at the back. He's got a decent head and stat, which I don't mind. Um, but I could have... Uh, not all everyone looks like a, like a natural full-blown woman. It's just the the hair usually can like gets me to pick them. So at centre-back we have the uh, Carlos Poyle. This man is an absolute legend at the back. He's got an amazing defending stat of 88 and 84 heading. He's very slow, but yeah, um, he does it like a bit of a lady. Uh, he's, he's everyone knows him, so I don't really have to go on about him much. And then left back, the last defender we have Jung Yo Lee. This man, woman thing, yeah, him. So then right mid we have Stefan Lexer. He has a beard, but other than that, yeah, he's he's got some nice uh, locks on him. I, I, yeah, some of these players are strange. And then centre uh, centre mid, sorry, we have Charles Charles Joseph. This this player is an absolute legend on the game. He's six at three. I think he's got ninety plus strength. And uh, yeah, if he had a good shooting stat, like say about seventy five, he would go for a lot more in my opinion because he's actually a very good player. Um, it, but apart from his nationality, is Granada. I don't think there's any other player from there. So yeah, uh, next centre mid we have Chris Head from Aston Villa. He is a bronze, but he's actually a very good player. He's got a nice uh, long hair there, 76 pace, and he's got decent dribbling and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he's, he's a good player. And if you've got a bronze uh, premiership team, I'd recommend getting him. And then left mid, we have upgraded Pablo Piatti. He's only 5 foot 4, but he's got 4 star skills, 92 pace, and 86 dribble. Very good player, in my opinion. Uh, also got very good passing and uh, shooting stat as well for a cheap player. And then uh, onto the strikers, we have Susan Boyle at centre forward. And the beard obviously gives it away who it's supposed to be. 84 driven on a silver. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, he's a bit. He's a, he's very slow, but four star skill and uh, 84 driven. That's higher than most of the uh, gold players' uh, dribbling stats. It's quite impressive, really. And then we have Fernando Torres up top. He doesn't look that much like a woman, but I just thought that he had womanly hair. But yeah, he's got 86 pace and 84 shooting, uh, and everything else is actually very good. He's not even powered. Piece of bitch. Piece of bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a very good player, and in my opinion, he's one of the best strikers on the game, uh, and he links up with the uh, Subo there. So yeah, guys, um, I'm going to leave you some goals. Oh, wait, we also got Fatima Whitbread on the bench, or in the reserves. Um, I never played him, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave you some goals. Uh, I've actually played three games of this team, and I've actually won all three, I think. Uh, no, no, I lost one uh, in the last minute. But yeah, it's actually quite a fun team. It's more fun than the uh, Javelin squad. But yeah guys, if you've enjoyed this series or so far, please leave a like and subscribe to see more.